What are the most stolen and least stolen vehicles and what can you do to prevent car theft? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carl Corner where we help you the consumer master the process of car buying and car ownership. For this video I'm going to go through 10 of the most stolen vehicles and also 10 of the least stolen vehicles across the US and Canada. And I'm also going to share some practical and easy tips that can help you prevent your car from being stolen. The information for this video comes from both US and Canadian sources, including NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the National Insurance Crime Bureau, the Highway Loss Data Institute, and also the Insurance Bureau of Canada. And before we get into this list, remember, if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you, the consumer. So we'll start this video off with the most stolen vehicles, beginning with the vehicles that are common to both the US and Canada, with the first one being the Ram 1500. Unfortunately, trucks are one of the most common targets for a lot of thieves across North America. And the Ram was one of the most stolen trucks in 2022. The most stolen model years for the Ram 1500 are those between 2011 and 2018. It was the 10th most stolen vehicle overall in 2022 in the US, with 11,991 units stolen. And it came in number 6 place in Canada with 509 units stolen. Vehicles that are very popular with consumers and those that are also very expensive tend to be a really hot target for thieves, which explains why the Ram is on the top 10 list. But we also see some lower priced cars on the list, including the next one which is the Honda Accord. The most stolen model years for the Accord are those between 2018 and 2021. In 2022, the Honda Accord was the fourth most stolen car in the US, with 30,814 units stolen. And in Canada, the Accord came in the number 8 spot, with 372 units stolen. This makes it one of the most stolen regular sedans and mid-size cars across the North American market. But the Accord was not the only Honda to make the top 10 list. Another car to make the list was the Honda Civic. The most stolen model years for the Honda Civic are those between 2016 and 2021. In 2022, the Honda Civic was the third most stolen car in the US, with 34,144 units stolen. And in Canada, the Civic made the number 4 spot, with 768 units stolen. That makes it the most stolen compact car across North America, which unfortunately is a reputation that the Civic has had for a very long time. In a way though, the Civic is a little bit of an outlier because the majority of this list is mostly made up of SUVs and trucks, including the next ones which are the Chevy Silverado and the GMC Sierra. The Silverado and Sierra came in the 7th and 2nd spot in the US, with a combined theft number of 53,030 units. These trucks also came in the 7th spot in Canada with 410 units stolen. The most stolen model years for the Sierra and the Silverado are actually the older ones between 1999 and 2006. And another vehicle that didn't do very well for thefts in 2022 is the next one on the list, which is the Honda CRV. The most stolen model years for the CRV are those between 2016 and 2021. The CRV was the ninth most stolen vehicle in the US in 2022, with 12,309 units stolen. And interestingly, it was the number one most stolen vehicle in Canada for 2022, with 4,117 units stolen. That's a remarkably high number and almost double the second most stolen car in Canada, which means the CRV really blew away almost every other vehicle. But there is one other vehicle that has consistently made the very top of the most stolen list in both the US and Canada, and that vehicle is the Ford F-150. The F-150 was the most stolen vehicle in the US for 2022, with 44,014 units stolen. And it was also the third most stolen vehicle in Canada, with 1,182 units stolen. The most stolen model years for the F-150 are those between 2015 and 2020. Much like some other vehicles on this list, the F-150 has consistently been at the top of the most stolen list for several years now. And that has a lot to do with its very strong popularity in the market, and also due to the fact that trucks are just very expensive to buy, which makes them a very hot target for thieves. But there were a few vehicles on the top 10 most stolen list that were unique to the US and the Canadian markets. Starting with the US, the Toyota Corolla, the Nissan Altima, and the Toyota Camry all made the top 10 most stolen list. And a few vehicles that made the top 10 most stolen list for Canada, but not the US, include the Toyota RAV4, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Toyota Highlander, and also the Lexus RX SUV. 
The Lexus RX is perhaps the most interesting one on the list because, despite being the second most stolen vehicle in Canada for 2022, the vast majority of that theft occurred in the provinces of Ontario and Quebec. The model years that are the most stolen by thieves are those between 2016 and 2021. Over 2,200 RX SUVs were stolen in 2022 out of over 34,000 that were insured, which means that the RX has an incredible theft rate of 6.4%, which is shockingly high. That percentage is far higher than any other vehicle on this list, which means that if you're planning on buying an RX, or if you already have one, anti-theft strategies are an absolute must. So now that we've gone through the most stolen vehicles in North America, it's time to go through some of the least stolen vehicles. Now, in order to make this list as fair as possible, I decided to eliminate any low volume niche, low selling vehicles that would basically create misleading information. And I've decided just to focus on the most popular higher selling vehicles. The mainstream SUVs that were the least stolen include the Subaru Outback, the Subaru Forester, the Hyundai Tucson, and also the GMC Acadia. All four of these SUVs have a very low theft claim frequency, which means that the number of theft claims filed with insurance companies is very low. There were also a number of compact cars and hatchbacks which made the least stolen list. These include the Nissan Leaf, the Mini Cooper, and the Hyundai Elantra, all of which have a very low theft rate. And of course, we also have to include a number of popular luxury cars and luxury SUVs. Among the luxury cars that are the least stolen, these include the Audi A4, the BMW 3 Series, and the Tesla Model S. And the least stolen luxury SUVs include the Audi Q5 and the BMW X3. It's somewhat challenging to analyze all of this data and determine why exactly specific vehicles are so highly targeted by thieves, while others are almost completely ignored. What's true though is that the majority of theft is not really the fault of auto manufacturers because the majority of new cars already come with a lot of anti-theft technology already built in. The unfortunate reality is though is that no amount of anti-theft technology is going to stop a thief if they really want to steal your car. Thieves always seem to be at least a few steps ahead of the car manufacturers, which means all you're able to really do is to slow them down or deter them from stealing your car in the first place. And the best way to deter thieves is by using a variety of anti-theft strategies that, if not stop thieves, will at least slow them down from stealing your car in the first place. For example, you could consider installing some kind of kill switch device, which will shut down your car when it's not in use. You could also install a locking mechanism on the onboard diagnostic port door, which is located in the driver footwell of most cars. And this is the main access point for thieves, where they're able to plug in a computer, reprogram the car and basically drive away. Or you could prevent them from even getting to that point in the first place by purchasing a Faraday box or a Faraday pouch, which is able to block the signal when you store your car's remote inside. And of course, there are some old school methods which might also work very well too, including installing a steering wheel lock on the steering wheel of your car. You could also just try to keep your car parked in a busy, well-lit area, and when it's parked at home, keep it parked inside the garage as much as possible. Unfortunately though, none of these strategies are guaranteed to prevent theft. All you can really do is to slow thieves down, or maybe convince them to go somewhere else instead, which is a little bit of a help, but if we're really going to address this theft problem, it really needs to start with government intervention, and also increasing police enforcement. In the meantime, let me know what you thought of this video, and if you have any suggestions for any future car videos, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and you can also check out my other videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.